Hi, my name is Tony and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a newspaper boy hat. This is what I wanted to get. A newspaper boy hat with a crown that falls on top of the bill here. Okay? And uh, look at this beauty. That's what you get. That's what you get when you buy patterns from me because where else? Where else you gonna get something like this? I tell you where, nowhere. In order to get to this, I had to make one of these. All right, this is the first attempt, which for a first attempt is pretty damn good. Only has six panels, six. So let's work. But, um, you know, I wanted, I wanted the, the cap to be a bit more flat or a bit more, you know, so um, I added a couple of more panels for your stitching pleasure. You're gonna love me. You're gonna love me. When you finish one of these, you're gonna say, thank you, Tony, so much. There will be stitching. Got a stitching machine. You're one of the lucky ones. I'm gonna have the pattern available for both of them. This one and this one, because why not? Some of you like this one, some of you like this one better. I am here to please. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Just, let's just start working. Why, why so much talk all the time? Blah, 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 blah. Why, why, why? Get the pattern downloaded. Have everything ready. And let's start working on this. Now that you have the files on your computer, you have to open and print them. I recommend using Adobe Reader. This is a software that's free to use, that's what I use. You cannot open and uh, print them using editing software like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw or other software that can change the pattern itself. Also, our patterns are not compatible with laser cutters of any sort. There is one setting you need to have checked when printing the pattern. Please keep actual size or print at 100% is the same thing. The page size is A4. However, you can go ahead and choose letter or you can choose a legal size, which are more popular in the US. The first page will contain a sizing diagram. There are two squares. Make sure when you print, the square is five or two inches in size. So go ahead, use a ruler, make sure the size is right. When you print the patterns, you need to cut them um, along the dotted line, okay? The one that has scissors. It's very important very important when you put them together both of those scissor sides match up after we got all the patterns printed we paste them together and then we cut them out of the leather you don't need to cut precisely on the black lines at this stage get all the pieces out of um, out of these pages and then we're gonna i'm gonna tell you next how to use these paper pieces to cut your leather Now choose the right leather for your project and then place the paper patterns on top of the leather. Use some masking tape to hold every piece flat, completely flat on the leather. At this stage, you're ready to go ahead and punch the holes. Make sure you get all the holes. Don't miss any because it'll avoid uh, a lot of frustration later. So after you've punched all the holes, you can go ahead and cut the leather pieces out. You have to cut precisely on the black lines. Make sure the blade that you're using, whatever blade that is, is at the right angle, 90 degrees. At this stage, you should have every piece needed to finish your design. This is the leather I used. It's a... Um, Four ounces chrome tan, looks beautiful. Got this beautiful color. Love the leather. And 
this is what we this is what I got from that leather. Beautiful newspaper boy hat. But um, let's see how I got from that to this. First thing we need to do is cut all eight panels. All right? Cut them and stitch them together. The stitching of course will go once down the middle and then fold the, the edges on themselves, do another stitch, all right? All right, so now you have a crown that looks sort of like this. We're gonna need to attach the, the, the sweat band. In, in our case, it's not really a sweat band. It's more of a band that it's to, ex to your exact head circumference. We're gonna take the band first and form a loop, do a little cross stitch here.
Now, with the flesh on the inside, we attach it to the crown, all right? Like I do here. We will have to insert the bill as well, okay? The visor has to be attached as well. So before we do that, let's uh, let's do the bill first, all right? The bill consists of two pieces of leather. A thicker one, uh, I used six ounces, and some of the leather you use for the crown. So you basically get them both on top of each other and you fold it on the edge, okay? And you'll get this. I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you next. So with the bill ready, you start attaching this, let's call it a sweat band, you attach it to the crown, okay? Again, for this I used 6 ounces of um, chrome tan leather because I wanted it to be a bit more firm, a bit more sturdy. When you get to the middle, alright, 
There's 20 holes on each side. Make sure to insert the, the bill as well. careful the bill will be attached like this it looks unnatural it doesn't look right okay but once once you fold it it all makes sense see but that's how you start working on it okay All right, so you finish the crown, you finish the, the, the sweatband, you finish the visor, you touch them all together. You should be looking at something like this, with a hole in the middle, okay? Before we address the, the gap, I don't want to say let's address the hole because that would sound so dirty. Um, just fold it in like that, okay? And uh, yeah, it, it, it looks like a hat. It's beautiful, beautiful. Um, don't believe me, look at this guy. Look how sexy he became all of a sudden. Look at that. That is, that is money right there. But next we have to do this cap, okay? Cover that hole. Um, I chose to go a fancier way. Um, a, a, a disc folded on itself that's not easy to do i'll show you exactly how i've done it but if you think that's a bit too much simply cut a, a, a regular disc I'll, I'll give you the pattern for it and just stitch it on top and that's that but if you want to do it a, a bit more fancy a little bit more nicer like i did here i'll show you how to do that next
All right, we have a hat. It looks, it looks beautiful. Like, like I showed you earlier. What more do you want? What can you ask for? This eight panels, eight. One, two, eight. All right. Earlier, I made one that only has six, and it's a bit more rounded. Okay. In all honesty. I wanted to get from this to this. And some of you liked this design as well. I think it's, I think it's beautiful. I think it's, I think it looks great. Except for this round disc on top, which I will adjust the pattern to be the same size of this. I think we have a great six panel looking hat. Some, some people like this better than this. So um, I'm, I'm going to offer a pattern for both. All right, both of them. So if you want to make the one with the six panels, obviously less work, different shape. But if you want to go for the more traditional eight panel hat, the build procedure, exactly the, exactly the same. Exactly. Instead of eight panels here, you do six, but attaching the, the visor attaching the, the, the sweat band here. Exactly the same procedure. Exactly. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make another video on how to make this. Come on. It's, it's a lot of work. Use the video you've just watched to finish this hat. Tony out. Peace. Mm -hmm.